What's up everyone? This is Midnight Strike 3625 and I am back for another review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Devil You Know album entitled They Bleed Red. So basically a little bit of backstory on Devil You Know. They're a super group in the metalcore uh, genre and they already released a new album called The Beauty of Destruction. And I say it's new because it was released just last year. In April, I mean honestly, April 2014, and it's 2015, and we already have a brand new album that tops it, in my opinion. Now, Devil You Know are a supergroup formed from band members from Killswitch Engage, All Shall Perish, Bleeding Through, and many other bands. So, basically, with this supergroup and this formula, they basically re-release The Beauty of Destruction 2.0. And I say that because there's a lot of songs on here that sound like they would feel right at home on The Beauty of Destruction. So in a way, it's a continuation, and in a way, it's, hey, it worked for our first album, so we're going to repeat the formula for the second one. And let me tell you, it sounds very good. They pretty much get everything right on the album, and every flaw that I had with The Beauty of Destruction, they flesh out and they fix on this album. I mean, songs like The Way We Die and Stay of Execution and even Let the Pain Take Hold just show the versatility of the band and what they can do. Let the Pain Take Hold in um, in particular. This is a slower song where Howard Jones from Kill Switch Engage, X Kill Switch Engage, actually hits the high notes very nicely and sings in a higher register than he normally did. I mean, normally uh, Howard Jones is one of those guys with a very, very deep, booming, thundering baritone voice. Now, he's had a little bit of issue with it in the last couple of years, ever since 2009's uh, KSE 09, but really, he's dramatically recovered, and that can be seen even on The Beauty of Destruction. But really, in this song, Let the Pain Take Hold, there's a lot less vocal effects. It doesn't sound like he's singing underwater in this in any of these songs, really, like it did on some of the songs on the first album that they had. And really, the vocal effects and the vocals themselves aren't the only thing that's changed. The overall production sounds a lot more crisp, it sounds heavier, and it sounds really a lot better produced. Everything is where it needs to be in that regard. And even at the end of the album, there is a cover. Much like Holy Diver was covered by Killswitch Engage, Eye of the Tiger, of all things, by Survivor was covered. Now, I find this kind of funny considering the recent political debate about whether or not you can use a song to forward a political agenda. You know, I'm not really going to go into it, but it happened last year after a certain someone was released from jail after a week. Um, not going to go into it. But yeah, anyway, Survivor was going to sue them. I don't know what really happened to that or what really came of that, but they should have used this cover if it was released because it is all the more brutal. This album cover on here, this Survivor cover, is really good. The only problem I have with it, it's a very, very minor problem, the vocals are sound. The way he goes from cleans to screaming, cleans to unclean is very, very sound. But the beginning couple notes from the guitars, da, 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 that part, it sounds very distorted. It sounds like they're hitting the high or the wrong notes and then it's a little bit off key and off off tempo, I suppose. Something's up with it. It just doesn't sound right. It just sounds like they're kind of hitting the same chord over and over again a little bit and it just doesn't really sound like you would imagine a good survivor cover to sound like in that beginning in that respect but overall it is a very good cover and i would probably rank it below holy diver but it is definitely up there with that so overall this album is a very very sound release and there's a lot of songs on here much like i said pain take or the, let the pain take hold and uh, stay of execution are good the Way We Die is probably one of my favorites. Consume the Damned. This one is a fast-paced, heavy hitter, much like A New Beginning was off of 2014's The Beauty of Destruction. And Shattered Silence is another one of my favorites. But I think overall, my, my very favorite song on here, aside, of course, from The Way We Die and Let the Pain Take Hold, is Master of None. And I say that because of how much it feels like it's an anthem for this band. It is their theme song. They say, I am the master of none. I am the devil you know. They actually say, I am the devil you know. And it just seems like I got chills just listening to it because it was so heavy. It was so well thought out. It was such a well-crafted song. It was really, 
really aggressive, and it just had that oomph, you know, that the Beauty of Destruction never had. So, I mean, overall, I'm going to have to rate this album easily 9.8 out of 10. It's just shy of perfect. Um, a couple, I guess, melody melodies didn't really go well with what I thought the songs should sound like in songs like Searching for the Sun. It just something sounded off about that song, as well as Broken by the Cold. That song just sounded a little off, and I can't really put my finger on why. I think it's just kind of like a, a melody issue, or just how the song was constructed in general. I don't really like those songs as much as the other ones. Searching for the Sun, I think, is the um, least of the two that um, I have a problem with, that I have issues with. I actually kind of like that song, but overall, amazing, phenomenal album. 9.8 out of 10. It's a definite rival to... Uh, Kill Switch engages Disarm the Descent. Of course, I like D2D better, but, you know, it is what it is. I can't wait for Kill Switch engages next studio album to come in March, along with Tremonti's Dust. So, this is Midnight Strike 3625, 9.8 out of 10. Keep calm and rock on.